What's up, y'all? So, I am here. I look a mess. I took my wig off and I had my old braids up under there. So, that's what I'm looking like. We have Ron Dye in the cut. <laughs> but I'm about to go in. My nose is stopped up only on one side. I just got on some loose fitting clothes. Crocs. It's time to go in. Oh my God. I just seen the doctor go in. They just pulled up. <clears throat> but I'm about to turn my camera off. I'm going to have to probably record on my phone in here because I don't think you can record. So yeah, we're going to see how this goes. So of course I wasn't able to take my phone in there. So the next clip you're going to see is going to be after I come out of surgery. And these next clips are so funny because I literally didn't know nothing I was talking about. I was so out of it. But yeah, y'all going to see. Is it? It gave me Xanax. Oh. It gave me a whole bunch of pills. Really? It was like Xanax, Benadryl, and then whatever they prescribed. They put the, uh, I guess the, the Nodocaine or whatever the numbers stuff. You had to keep shooting it in. Hard to talk because the things are tight. <laughs> After all that talking and babbling or whatever I was talking about, I ended up falling asleep and I was knocked out the whole way home. The next clip is me in the bed after I took a nap. Like, as soon as I got in the house, I fell straight asleep. So, this next clip is me <clears throat> waking up. The first when I first woke up, y'all, my voice was completely gone. That was the only crazy thing that kind of happened after surgery. My voice was gone. Like, I tried to talk and nothing would come out. It was like in my sleep, I could feel something happening with my throat. It felt like my throat was closing up and I ended up waking up. As soon as I tried to talk, nothing would come out. Like, I had to chug water for my voice to come back. So, that's why my voice sounded a little raspy in this next clip. So, y'all about to see it. Okay, what's up, y'all? As y'all can see, I know it's really dark in here. Let me see if turn my mic. I am in the bed. And I'm not in any pain right now. Um. Yeah. This is what I'm looking like. I still got the hair net on. They gave me a couple of my edges up. But, y'all, it wasn't bad. Like, cause I just took a nap. I was knocked out. When I woke up, my voice was completely gone. I've been chugging water. Trying to get it to get to where it's at now. But, um. I did. So, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all another update in a little bit. People was talking about they was eating soup and stuff. I feel like I can eat a whole chicken wing right now. But I don't need to be eating salt like that. I need some pineapple juice and I need some, uh -huh. Yeah. I need some pineapple juice. And I need some, uh, I don't know. Might find me something to eat. But I don't want to overdo it because I'm the type, if I'm feeling okay the first day, I'm about to get straight to whatever. And you know, you don't supposed to do that. You kind of got to let your body rest. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just, and my mom, I'm so thankful for my mom because she was there though. To drop me off and pick me up, and I don't even walk. In, I don't even remember walking to the car for real. And it's crazy because I'm like, all I took was a Xanax. So maybe whatever that anesthesia is that get in your bloodstream or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yep, gotta look like this for some weeks. 
It's cool though. My ears covered up. It's cool though. Alright y'all, I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Alright y'all. So, about to eat a banana and drink some pineapple juice. So, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> That's all I'm about to do real right now. I might lay here and try to go back to sleep because I still feel sleepy. Being the fact that we had to be up like three in the morning. I'm about to see how the pain feel tomorrow. Yeah. But all right, I just wanted to come tell y'all what I was about to eat. My voice is still raspy. I don't know why. They didn't put no tubes down my throat. I don't know. I need to look up and see if that's normal. But all right. Yeah, so. I'm here to get a massage. I look so crazy. Or a drainage. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be. I hope it don't hurt. Yep. I'm in the lobby area. I don't know if I can record. That's why I'm whispering. But I'm about to let y'all see what it looks like in here. Today is Friday, June 10th, um, and it's 2.43. Today, make it a official, okay, I got these, these teeth whitener strips on, so if I'm talking crazy, just don't mind that. But today, it makes it one week from when I got my surgery. As y'all see, I don't have my Faha on. I haven't had it on for maybe an hour now. I need to hurry up and put it back on. Um... It's not really swelling while it's off, but I just want to keep it on because I need the best results, period. Okay, y'all, so my camera had died, but I'm back. But, um, yeah, it, it's not swelling up or anything, but I just want to get the best results possible. So, I'm going to just keep wearing it. It is still swollen, though, so it's really sore when I touch it, especially, like, back here in these areas. But, like, the actual chin, yeah, it's still swollen. So, I mean, it's only been a week. A lot of people say they start seeing a major difference in two weeks. I can already kind of tell, like, where everything, how everything's going to form when it finished us. When the swelling goes down. So, <clears throat> as of right now, I'm happy with my results. Because I'm already seeing them come through a little bit. I'm already seeing them come through a little bit. So, I'm, I can't wait till they come through all the way. Um, okay, we're gonna get straight to it. I'm about to tell y'all how it went because as y'all seen in the clips earlier, I wasn't able to take my camera to the back. So, I'm gonna just tell y'all, I'm, I'm really about to take this out of my mouth. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Okay, I'm gonna put it like that for 
while I'm talking. But um, I couldn't take my camera to the back, so I'm going to just go from there. So after I got out the car and that uh, clip, and it just clipped to afterwards, I walked up to the door and we got there. My mom was with me. It was another lady that was there that's supposed to be getting a whole bunch of other, whole bunch of stuff done. You know, I was just getting my chin. I think she was getting her whole body done or whatever. And her husband was there. We waited for about 10 minutes and then they came out and they told us that we couldn't take our phone back there. They told us that um, the people we was with, they had to, you know, wait outside or wait until we come. They actually told my mom that she can come in because my surgery was going to be so quick. But she decided she wanted to go sit in a car. So, me and the lady, we went in there. And when you first walk in, it's, it's, um, you walk through the door and you walk like, it's like a little short little lobby hall looking thing where it's a chair. And then you walk past the door and then you got, um, it's a bed, a curtain, a bed, a curtain, a bed, curtain like that. That's off to the side. Then it's like the bathroom right here. And then it's a door that goes to the back. So, when I first walked in, my first impression was, oh, what is this? Like, I hope they're not, we're not getting surgery right beside each other. Like, but we wasn't. So, um, yeah, we end up having to, uh, put, uh, the, well, I had to put on, you know, the little paper roll kind of thing with the paper bra and the paper underwear. Even though I wasn't getting my body done, they said it was for sterile reasons. So that's a good thing. Um, uh, after we changed clothes, they had to check our blood pressure. They checked my blood pressure. My blood pressure was low. My blood pressure is always low. Not low in a bad way, but it was decent. It was good. Good enough to get a uh, surgery. And then, um, we had to fill out some paperwork where I had to sign some things, read over some things, you know, the basics. And then, um, and then after after that uh we had to take some pills so the pills they had me take the pills they had me take it was like two benadryl pills it was like two xanax that i had prescribed to me it may have been a pain pill i think that was all of them it was like five pills and we and i had to take all all of those they gave us some water it was real chill it was cold in there it was it was cool so, um, me with my nose stopped up, like the beds that they let us sit on, like we each had our own bed in each curtain or whatever, I had sat on my little bed, and I wanted to lay down so bad, because it was so early, I was so sleepy, but my nose was stopped up, so I was trying to sit up, you know when you sitting up, your nose kind of clear up some, I was trying to do that, because I knew if I laid down, it was just going to stop up completely, but yeah, so, after they gave the medicine to us, it was, uh, they told us to wait it was about 25 minutes before we can go to the back. Um, and, you know, we letting the medicine kick in and everything. Mind you, I don't see the other lady. She she on her own little curtain behind her own little bed area. So that's what, um... So so we waited in our own little area for, what, what I say, 25 minutes. And then after that, like when, I, uh, when it was time to go to the back, I don't know if I was real woozy or anything. I think everything was straight at that time. I was, it might have been just real calming. Like I was calm. By the time I went to the back, I wasn't scared. I wasn't even really scared when I got there, but I wasn't like nervous or nothing. So when I when they called me to the back, I walked through the door to an, into another room and it had like a table set up, like like a uh, a medical table, but it was just like not that big it wasn't that wide like it fit my body when i put like lay back and i put my arms side by side like it wasn't a big table and so um they told me to get up there lay down uh it was some music going and it was it was a real chill vibe like i got once i got up there on the table but then it was cold it was so cold in there so i was kind of shivering and so the lady that was there she was like you call you want a blanket they gave me that blanket. I almost fell asleep. I felt too good once they brought the blanket in. And then she asked me, like, what kind of music you want to listen to? And um, she had it on, like, but they had it on a real cool radio station. I can't even think of the girl name that was, that was playing. Um, Shea Butter Baby. She sang that song, Shea Butter Baby. But it was, like, one of them type of stations. It was a real chill vibe. It was real cool. She asked me what type of music I wanted to listen to. I told her, you know, you can keep it on that, that station. Because it was chill. Um, I felt real comfortable in there. And after, like, about five to ten minutes, the doctor walked in. We talked about what, uh, my, what I wanted done or whatever. The results that I wanted to see. He told me what he could do. And then from there, it was like, we getting started. 
So, let me tell y'all, the, um, it was, it was not really painful. Um, the, the worst part was the local anesthesia when they was injecting the, the anesthesia. Because he jabbed me about maybe like eight times up under my chin. Like, it was just, and that was like a, if I had to give it a, 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 a level out of ten of the pain, it was, it was like a, it might have been like a seven, then it got down to like a six, five. Like eventually, it was it was just nut. It was nothing. It wasn't that bad. Like when he was doing it, it was just like I'm just like okay. But once that was done, that was really the only pain that I felt. Um. So once he finished injecting the anesthesia, whatever the local anesthesia, he just it let it sit there for a little bit, and then um, I seen him grab something that looked like he was about to start like poke a hole in my my jaw so when he grabbed it like in my head I'm, I'm not really nervous but in my head I'm like what is that oh my god but um once he did what he did I didn't feel nothing like he did he like poked the hole poked the hole poked the hole I don't know how he did it but I didn't feel none of that um and after that he took the long little thing that they stick in your jaw and like to suck the fat out and it was like I didn't feel none of that like I just felt the pressure like but I didn't it, it didn't hurt like it was weird because it really didn't hurt at all um one time when he got over here it was a little like rough like okay I felt that but it wasn't painful like I can't explain it, it wasn't it wasn't painful though it didn't hurt um yeah I really and then at, like at one point I feel like towards the end I might have fell asleep or something because I was so in and out of it like by that time the medicine had kicked in kicked in and I was in and out of it like I'm just dozing off maybe dozing off waking up dozing back off waking up it was yeah so I didn't feel nothing um so once he finished it was that was really that I just remember like everything was kind of it's kind of a little hard to remember, but only because of all the uh, pills I had took to so you will be like kind of out of it. Once I woke up, I remember him saying, okay, we're done or whatever. And then I remember like sitting up, like I'm sitting up on my own. And then the lady, helped, it was a lady that helped me off the chair. I don't remember if it was there or when I got home. I remember walking into a wall and I remember somebody asking, are you okay? Like, and I'm kind of laughing. It kind of feel like you drunk. And that was, it was funny. It was kind of fun. <laughs> but it kind of feel like you're drunk without drinking. So it was, it, yeah, I was real woozy and kind of needed somebody to help me uh, walk. So once I was done, they had already called my mom. So she was already at the door. And once I came out to her, that's where y'all see the clip where i'm walking and i'm talking and i don't even know what i'm talking about really i'm just just going on and on like talking and once i get in the car i'm kind of i'm recording like i'm i feel so weak and drunk like i don't even know how i even thought to bring out my camera and record but while i was recording i was just all over the place like i was just talking slow and all over the place and soon after i got done recording i was knocked out in the car i fell asleep and then i was asleep all the way till we got home and i remember getting out the car I don't know how I did that, but yeah, I got out the car and I went upstairs to my bed, spread in my little blanket, and when I when I laid down, I was out of there, like I was gone. That whatever that give you, that <laughs> it have you so sleepy. And even when I woke up and I recorded, I did record the clip where y'all see me laying in bed. Um, I was still sleepy, like I I kept yawning, and after that, I think I I went back to sleep. So, yeah, that first day, it was just, like, in and out of sleep. Um, I wasn't in no pain at whatsoever. Um, they had the thing wrapped around my head. I had to keep on there. I just kept it on all day until the next day, which was, um, I had to go up there for a post-op, uh, what do they call it? A post-op, was it a massage? I think, yeah, a post-op massage. And... My first massage, the lady that I went to up there, she really didn't know what she was doing. She, um, it was real soft. Like, she, she didn't, ne she said she never had did one of the massages before. But, um, my second and third, the, the last few massages that I've been, uh, getting, the lady that I went to, she really know how to do it. If y'all ever get y'all body done at Goals, make sure y'all ask for Nelly. She do really good massages. Because when she did mine, like, I felt like she was really getting in there. And it was real 
relaxing and yeah ask for Nelly if y'all ever get y'all body done and need a massage because <clears throat> she's she's good she's really good um but I'm trying to think so yeah that's basically all that happened um like I said the pain level was like a seven and that was only when they was injecting the uh the the local anesthesia and then as it was getting in there the pain was just subsided so it was like seven six five four three two one so yeah but um yeah if y'all ever want to get some lipo in y'all face chin area i would say go for it because it's not bad i don't know about the body i really want to <laughs> i really want to get my body done y'all don't even understand but the amount of pain people say they go through it's just i don't know I don't know and then the downtime I don't know because even with this like me having to wear that Faha I can't really go out nowhere for a whole week and then even I'm still wear it for like another week like two weeks or whatever and then start wearing it just at night it's it's not a lot but it's just a lot that Faha hurt your ears it, but you can always get one off of Amazon the one I got I still got the one that they gave me um but yeah that is like having to sleep in that, wear that all day for a whole two weeks. It's annoying. That's and then it's irritating like and it's not even irritating to my chin really. It's irritating to like me breathing my ears. It's just because it's just not normal just to wear something around your head that for that long. And my ears are real sensitive. Like if I wear the headphones that cover your ears for too long my ears will start hurting. So that's something to keep in mind and you can always get the Faha on Amazon and they got the ears cut out but it's just kind of uncomfortable just having to wear that but it is what it is because I'm you know you want to get the best results so you want to wear your um your Faha um uh, would I do it all over again I would if I see something coming back I would go I would do it all over again because it was so easy like today yesterday might have been and today might have been like it's, it gets sore real sore over time but it's not like painful like me moving around it's not like i gotta i can't move around like i can actually move around look up look down um yeah so it's not bad and i just can't wait till it finish healing so i can see the final results like but i already <laughs> Oh, and another thing, y'all. So, uh, Goals Plastic Surgery, they asked me to be a brand ambassador while I was there. And I'm, I was like, yeah, it's like, why not? So, uh, they, they take, I, I think they're taking videos and pictures of my journey and how everything come out. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that video or whatever, you know, they got planned. I'm looking forward to that. I'm happy I went to Goals to get my chin done. Like, that's one thing out the way. And I... <clears throat> I would definitely recommend goals for, you know, chin surgery or whatever you got going on. I don't really know about the body because I like I didn't I didn't get my body done, but I they are in the back of my head if I do get my body done. But anyway, um so yeah, I just kind of want to come on here and tell y'all about uh how everything went. I just wanted to like explain it myself because y'all didn't get to see it cuz I didn't record. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. It was a... I was vlogging, like, this was an extensive vlog over a period of time of something I wanted to get done a while ago. So, y'all seen it from the beginning to the end. If you ain't seen part one, make sure y'all go check out the first part of me preparing for surgery. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm just about to go ahead put my faha back on and you know call it a day um yeah make sure y'all uh like this video make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and yeah i'm coming with the content so make sure y'all subscribe like i need y'all to do that immediately